but it's still family and this is still what's going on. I couldn't separate those two things to effectively do what I needed to do on Chris Lino's best. But you also would not have been able to have said what you just said without going through what you've been going with, with without going through what we've gone through. Thing is if I am responding to something, if you want to speak and for whatever to be heard or believed, then you have to be accepting of the fact that the other side is going to have something to say too. In the final weeks before going to prison, Lindsay Chrisley describes how her parents are spending their time. As Todd and Julie prepare to enter prison, Lindsay Chrisley exclusively tells people that the focus is on family. Will the couple spend their final Christmas with their family at this year's holiday gathering? Will Lindsay not accompany them? Continue watching to learn everything, so stick around. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Topish. We have some exciting stories that are full of lip-smacking delicacies, so make sure to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to press the bell icon. With that being said, let's begin. Todd and Julie Chrisley, the parents of Lindsay Chrisley, maintain optimism despite difficult circumstances. After Todd 53 and Julie 49 were found guilty in June of many financial offenses, a federal judge sentenced them this month. Julie was given seven years in prison and 16 months of probation, while Todd received 12 years in prison and 16 months of probation as well. On January 17th, they must report to the Florida prison where they're being held. The longtime couple has defended themselves and even appealed their case, claiming they're innocent. They will nevertheless need to remain incarcerated throughout the appeal. According to Lindsay 33, who spoke exclusively to people, her parents are making the most of their remaining time as the beginning of each respective prison term approaches. The co-host of Coffee Convos reveals, My parents quite frequently remark, and I believe they've expressed on their podcast as well, that at this time it's basically living every day like it's your last, taking it in and spending time with their kids who are in Nashville. Naturally, I'm talking to my parents on the phone as I share custody with my ex-husband, William Campbell. I therefore do not have the luxury of being able to simply pick up and move to Nashville, where I'll stay until January, she carries on. But in addition to spending time with their kids, my parents are undoubtedly investing time in counseling and Bible study. The Chrisley family as a whole, not only Todd and Julie, are the targets of this period. This is the reason, according to Lindsay, why her family is still adapting to what is now our new normal. Dealing with public scrutiny on a deeper level is one aspect of the new normal, particularly for Lindsay, the host of the Southern Tea podcast, who gave testimony in court on her parents' behalf. This accusation of having some form of a role in her parents' federal case has been refuted by her. Lindsay was also charged with taking joy in her parents' sentences. After a trying day in court, she posted a video of her friends coming together to cheer her on and drown their sorrows in a few glasses of champagne. The Chrisley Knows Best alum referred to such claims as outlandish and said it was a festive event. My girlfriends were there when I arrived home from their sentencing and we were having champagne like we usually do. Nothing about this was out of the ordinary for us, she clarifies. In place of a celebration beverage, champagne is the preferred option. No kind of celebration was taking place at all. Chaos rather than joy. She continues, it's been incredibly difficult to retain some sort of normalcy while attempting to negotiate our new normal. Lindsay has discovered how crucial it is to look after herself during this challenging time. She takes the stance that her family comes first. I believe that right now everyone's attention is only on their families. We really aren't deviating too much from that, she finally says. Family is the main topic. The holidays are in full swing and they came close and rapidly. My priorities are my parents, siblings, child, and niece, and I'm confident that they would respond in the same way to the same questions if they were asked. Lindsay Chrisley also provides an explanation for why she and Jackson won't be participating in this year's holiday gatherings with the family. Todd and Julie Chrisley's sentence in their tax fraud case on November 21st unfortunately occurred right before the Christmas season. And after saying on November 30th episode of her podcast, The Southern Tea, that their Christmas celebrations will look a lot different this year, Lindsay is now explaining why she and her seven-year-old son Jackson, who she shares with her ex-husband Will Campbell, will not be spending the holidays with her family. Emotions are extremely high at the time, she says on December 14th episode of her podcast. 
especially since I was hosting Jackson for Thanksgiving and my parents had just been sentenced a few days earlier. So if that makes sense, I just didn't feel like it was in Jackson's best interest for him to go and meet my parents in any state that they aren't generally in. According to the 33-year-old who also considered the feelings of her father and stepmother, they need time to digest. I wanted to be able to offer them that time, and I very much battled with giving up spending the time with my parents. The Chrissy Knows Best alum admitted that choosing between her daughter and herself was a really difficult thing. She acknowledged that her son behaves quite differently from her niece, Chloe Chrisley, but she also based her decision in part on her son's conduct. While Todd and Julie served their respective sentences of 12 and 7 years in jail, Savannah Chrisley, Lindsay's sister, will be granted custody of Chloe and her brother Grayson. Lindsay added, You won't even know the child is in the house. My parents can tell her to sit down and watch TV and she is going to sit down and watch TV. She added that Jackson is like a whirlwind coming through the home, from the time that he actually gets up till the time he goes to bed while this is happening. According to Lindsay, that sort of energy going on and then just not so fantastic news, that just wasn't a healthy combo in my opinion, so I had to make a hard decision as a mom and really to test it. We are aware that the couple filed a court appeal. Todd and Julie Chrisley are openly discussing their situation of tax fraud and bank fraud. Todd Chrisley 53 said that after their attorneys filed an appeal, they are not authorized to talk about the issue on the most recent episode of their Chrisley Confessions podcast. The appeal has now been filed, however, we are unable to discuss the case. According to my memory, it was filed yesterday or the day before yesterday, he said. At the courthouse, our counsel observed that they were appealing this. Don't assume that we're trying to keep something from you because we're not, he said, so we're not authorized to discuss it. We've been told that we can't, so that's the issue. The Chrisley Knows Best actor also expressed gratitude to the fans for their support of him and Julie, 49, writing, We value the prayers we receive every day. We receive a lot of letters and gifts, and other forms of charity as well as requests to pray for us and offers to assist us in any way they can, which is a blessing. If it's to your heart and your will to do, the reality star pleaded with the public to keep praying for them. He added, I hope that God will answer your prayers if it is for my death. If you're praying for our blessings, I'm reiterating your requests and pleading with God to pay attention to the collective prayers for us. Todd and Julie were found guilty by a federal jury in June of conspiring to conduct tax fraud, bank fraud, and other frauds against the United States. Julie was also found guilty of wire fraud despite their denial of all charges. Last month, Todd received a sentence of 12 years in prison and 16 months of probation, and Julie received a sentence of 7 years and 16 months of probation for her part in the crimes. The couple's lawyer, Alex Little of Burr and Foreman LLP, said that the family was optimistic for the future after sentencing since they intended to fight the charges. The Chrisley family had a challenging day yesterday. However, Todd and Julie are devout Christians and they draw courage from their faith to fight for what they believe in, Little says. The government's deliberate misrepresentation of the couple's tax obligations to the jury was one of several major and recurring errors that tainted their trial. We're hopeful about the future given these challenges. According to a source who spoke to people earlier, the pair are doing about as well as you can imagine in the wake of their fraud case sentencing. The insider said that they've been relying heavily on their faith to get them through. The fact that they are so brutally dissected in court though was a terrible thing that occurred to them because the judge repeatedly told them, just because you're on TV doesn't imply you're going to get away with this. They believe they weren't fairly singled out by him. The source said the longtime married couple also thinks the federal judge was setting an example with them when he sentenced them on November 22nd. According to the records acquired by People, the two are scheduled to report to their respective Florida institutions on January 17th. Julie will spend her sentence in the federal correctional institution Mariana some 2.5 hours away, while Todd will do his time at the federal prison camp Pensacola. Additionally, in their own facilities, they will be under minimal security. That ends today's video. Please leave a comment below to let us know what you think will happen next with the Chrisleys. Like and share this video to stay up to date on their progress, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Topish keeps you up to date on all the latest Hollywood celebrity news, drama, and gossip. Subscribe to our channel and check back for new videos and updates, and we'll see ya in the next video.